振り切れない出るしかなさそうね行くわよ了解Hey everybody, welcome back for another hellish shooting edition of Show Review Can. Although this one is far from being a bullet hell shooter, it's Hell Fire S for the PC Engine CD, which is a port of the 1989 arcade original that was developed by Toa Plan. You may have also heard of the Sega Genesis port from 1990 that was developed by NCS and published by Seismic, and this version. Was developed and published by NEC Avenue in 1991. So, for whatever reason, Toa Plan did not handle the home conversions for Hellfire like they did with games like Truxton and Fireshark, but that's okay because NEC Avenue typically did some solid work when porting games over to the PC Engine. And with this one, I'd say it falls short of the Genesis version in its gameplay, but the benefits of being a CD game are taken full advantage of, so it's kind of a draw. As for which is the better port, in my opinion. The gimmick to the gameplay in Hellfire is that you can fire in all eight directions, but you have to switch back and forth between four different weapon systems that fire directly in front of you, to the rear, vertically, and diagonally. Enemies will be positioned all around the screen, so you'll be swapping weapons around pretty frequently, but you can only cycle in one direction, which can get a bit. Irritating. It's not a hard game to get the hang of, though, and it's pretty fun. There are power ups to collect to strengthen your weapons, energy barriers to give you a few extra hits before dying, and lots of point bonuses as well. You return to your starting power when you lose a ship, though, and like most games from the time, this makes things a lot harder moving forward. Luckily, while this game does offer a fair bit of challenge, it doesn't hold a candle to games like Gradius and R Type, so I didn't find it. To be too frustrating. It's a slow playing shooter, though, definitely slower than its Genesis counterpart, but it's tolerable as the gameplay in general is fun. There are some cool boss battles, and the multi directional shooting gimmick keeps things interesting. The advantages this port has over its Genesis counterpart are pretty obvious. It's a PC Engine CD game, so as you might expect, there are plenty of anime style cutscenes scattered throughout the game, and they're pretty cool and fairly detailed as well. This is something that NEC Avenue pretty much had down to a science at this point, and the soundtrack is fantastic. The Genesis soundtrack is pretty decent in its own right, but it can't compare. To the kind of quality you get from a CD game, and the songs themselves are awesome. They're mostly high energy rock tracks, which suit a shooter really well, even if the music typically has more energy than the slow scrolling gameplay. I think it sounds amazing. So, with some fantastic graphics and sound on top of its fun gameplay, Hellfire S is definitely worth picking up for the PC Engine CD and the Genesis. Slash Mega Drive port is definitely worth playing too. Either way, you can't go wrong with some good old fashioned Hellfire. <laughs> 